Aloha, I'm geologist Philip Ong. In this week's eruption quick take, is it over five months in at Kilauea? This is a time lapse of activity at Kilauea Summit, captured by the USGS HVO F1 thermal camera, showing the slow crusting process over the last month in just a few seconds. There are several hot areas still today, one of which is still occasionally suggesting new lava. Zooming out to the whole crater, and starting five months ago from the beginning of the eruption, we see the entire lava lake surface is liquid at first, except for these drifting islands. Then a long-term crusting over process begins, starting with the back eastern half and working its way around the island towards the west vent shown here at the bottom. Now, since the beginning of May, even with the hardening of the northeast and southwest ends of the lava lake, there is still a visible flow current from the submerged injury below the west vent, moving east towards the once island. The hardening lava divides the lake into several ponds and stops the surface current. Though the smaller ponds overflow at first, they also crust over almost completely in the past week. The final opening in the lake is only spattering lava intermittently, with HVO scientists reporting that, quote, during an approximately one hour visit to the crater rim, the only observation of active lava was crustal foundering, which lasted approximately five minutes on May 18th. The last 24 hours animation on a USGS HVO website, seen here, still shows minor activity in that westernmost pond, visible within the full extent of the crater. Looking at the visible KW camera, but taking only the nighttime images from the past 10 days and tinting them, we can better see the nature of activity in the ponds. After the final overflows, we see the intermittent flashes of lava breaking through the growing crust, reducing an area to almost nothing in the final days. Juxtapose this, next we'll see the same view from the beginning of the eruption, but using images from dawn and dusk. First a little more slowly so you can pick out more of the details, then more quickly so you can see the full crusting process one more time. And finally with a full crater view. Here's the last 24 hours of the visible KW camera on a USGS site, for a view of what it looks like most currently. So, has Kilauea Volcano stopped erupting lava five months to the day after it began? The crusting over of the lava lake surface has made it difficult to tell, but these live monitoring data of the lava lake's depth are showing a different pattern since May 13th. This plot shows a past month of variations in the surface elevation of the lava lake, oscillating more frequently and at a higher amplitude during the first two weeks, likely due to fluctuations in the lava entry, as well as cycles of degassing and crustal breakup. Since May 6th, a new pattern is evident, likely due to the crusting over of the measurement location on the lake, with cycles of foundering still driving less frequent oscillations. The crust appears to be pissing upwards, presumably from lava filling below, late on May 10th, and again on May 13th, one week ago, and has not shown the same oscillations ever since. Gas emissions on the volcano remain down around 100 tons per day, within the background range for non-eruptive times, prompting the USGS to state in their most recent update that, quote, this implies a decrease in lava fusion rate that may indicate a coming pause in eruptive activity. The volcano still continues to slowly swell, as seen by these plots of recent ground tilt and GPS measurement of the cross caldera distance. These rates would not be unusual even without an eruption, and while minor adjustments in response to the crossing lava lake may be evident, especially on a tilt, there is no sign of an impending major change at this time. Beneath the crust, the core of the deep lava lake would remain liquid for over a century if left undisturbed, hardening from the outside in as was the case with the 1959 Kilauea Iki lava lake. So that stability is unlikely at Hale Ma'uma'u, a dynamic volcanic landscape which exactly three years ago was in the midst of a three-month, 1,600-foot collapse. Back to 2021, that liquid lava beneath the crust will continue degassing, and the moving gas bubbles will carry and eject lava if they can as is currently evident in these waning stages of eruptive activity. Even after the crust has fully solidified, rejuvenation of activity is still possible and fairly common among historical eruptions. Most recently, 2018 vent in the Lower East Rift Zone, now officially named Ahu Ailaau, ceased the bulk of its lava output on August 4th. After activity ceased within its crater, lava reappeared briefly from September 1st to 6th, marking the final effusion of the 2018 eruption. Only time will tell whether the current trend means the end of the eruption or only a temporary pause. And that's our quick update this week. Mahalo.